I'm Devin Nutbeam, and I've been working for the province for 35 years. I'm an export development executive um, with the export development uh, branch, and my job is working with companies to develop uh, their ability to export and, and to enhance sales that companies are already making in other countries. My favorite part of the job, without question, would be um, being part of a company's success. It's a real rush when we've had any contribution at all to their ability to succeed in marketplaces. And if sometimes you can advise them on an approach that they wouldn't have thought of taking, or if you can prevent them from making a mistake that you feel is uh, maybe a problem, they do and it works, that's, that's just what we're here for. It's wonderful. The biggest mistake is not doing adequately doing the homework into a market that they want to um, to explore. Really researching is a lot of background work and a lot of companies just want to jump right in, get the product over there and see how it does. That's a very expensive way to, to learn hard lessons. So I think um, if I had any advice for companies in how to avoid some of the pitfalls, we first of all to make sure they got into the market, used in market consultants to find out exactly what uh, the trends are, what people's buying patterns are, um, what the best sales channel might be for their kind of product. But also to look more as to the back end of the market. So find out what people like to do and, and what they like to consume in terms of food and beverages, how they use the product, where they normally consume them, and really target the market to uh, a demographic that is the most reasonable, not try to be all things to all people. If it's something they already have a comfort level with, then you can already get in there or get into a relationship with a company in market who already, whose brand name already has a lot of cadre and have them adopt your product with your name as part of it. Have a partnership. Trade shows are certainly one aspect, one very important aspect of, um, of uh, providing companies and, um, with the information they need in order to be effective in a marketplace because it is a, a quick moment in time. They can get the biggest bang for their buck. They can introduce their product to a wide audience. And, and people who come to buy, buyers, category managers, uh, companies, whoever, who come to these shows are coming with a specific intent of finding new products and finding ideas that will fit with their market. So you already have a captive audience. If you can, um, if companies research the buyers that are going to be at that market and try and reach out to some of the ones they think would have most cadre with their product, that is key so that when the, the buyer comes, they're already expecting to meet this particular company. They're not coming cold as you would otherwise be if you're just exhibiting at a, at a booth and they have such a myriad of booths to choose from that you want to make yours stand out somehow. Visual is key. Making your display or your product um, something that people have to you know, get drawn into. So one of the things we do at ONB is try to make sure that a booth is, has got the kind of atmosphere and the draw that even if people weren't particularly interested in looking for that specific product, they're drawn into the booth, either by the ambiance or the, or the offering or something, the colors, whatever, that really makes them, that intrigues them. And then once you draw them in, make sure that your product is also as intriguing, that there's a visual there that catches people's eye and that they can speak to. My passion is breeding Newfoundland dogs and uh, the whole point in breeding is to try and make a difference in the genetic issues that affect the breed while maintaining what is tremendous about them. So that means going to dog shows uh, all around North America and in Europe and also uh, continuing to breed and to show and um, to be hopefully a, a fairly significant force in the Newfoundland dog world. Um, I've also uh, threatened to write a book. Uh, people have told me over the years some of the anecdotes that I've either experienced myself or vicariously experienced through others really should be captured in a book. Now I don't know if I can sit down long enough to write. Uh, desk work has never been my forte, but I'm certainly going to work at it and see how I make there. I also would like to do some consulting work. I don't see that I can leave the food business just cold turkey. It's too much in my blood. So I'm hoping if some interesting product, uh, projects 
come along that have a finite beginning and a finite end, then I can uh, be dabbling in that.